Alright right, guys, this is uh, part 2 of the Battlefield Bad Company 2 video. We're gonna continue on as I was talking. And uh, I'm going to, you know, Mother Strike me right off the bat. Um, not only... Not only uh, will it, you know, will the MCOM station be... Um, no, we'll not, uh, what's the word here? I'll be able to see the MCOM station from where I am. And uh, it'll give me the chance to, you know, take out any people who are trying to disarm it. The, I guess you can call that a pro. The con, or the, you know, the negative thing to that is that the MCOM station is, you know, <coughs> open. So, or the area is open, so the defenders can even, you know, do the same thing I am, which is basically, you know, anybody that tries to go to B, they'll take them out because they can see them, and my teammates can't hide inside that building. But I see it as a as a good thing, though, because uh, even if they're trying to hide in the building, the the team will just try and mortar strike, mortar mortar strike them and kill him and there won't be anybody defending B. So And here my my spawn me was oh you know I, I killed I got killed by someone in the tower and I was as I was talking before you know that tower can provide a lot of uh, a viewing area. So I was able to take him out real quick. And uh, I see that someone here hiding by the shack, but I take him out anyways with the sniper rifle, so I wasted a good motor strike, but that's okay though, it's... And, uh... You know, there, there's a tower right there, and you know, some people like to hide in the windows, so always try and look into the windows if you can, usually you can see them. Just getting some some one hit shots. Someone mortar strike that area where I was at. So it's time for me to move. Uh, a good a good tip if you're trying to snipe is that uh, if you get one or two people, move the hell out of the area. That's <laughs> the best tip I can give you. Uh, move somewhere else to you know to find another area to snipe from. Because after you kill it, like for example, if you kill another sniper on the team, he's definitely gonna try and counter snipe you because that's what I do. Every time I get killed, I know where they're at. I'll go either I either motor strike them or um, I count I counter snipe them because I already know where they're at. Because they have, when you die, the kill cam shows the location of the player, so you always have to be aware. Worry about. Right, yeah, and this guy right here was choice, trying to motor strike while you know being in an open area, and that you know really hurt him. I got eyes on the infantry over there. And then this guy right here playing with the tank on the on the left side, uh, really no, I should say no how to play with the tank. He's you know taking his time and then just covering the area as he can. And you know, I got the sniper right here. And you know I'm, I'm spotting the enemy as much as I can. I think we got um, a Bravo. Yeah, we got it. Even though, even though um, there's a uh, automatic spawning scope with the recon class, I, I, I ended up taking it off because um, I found out that it's better to use the, the explosive uh, customization or the explosive perk uh, with the motor strike. So. Because it deals a lot more damage, so uh, it gives a better, uh, wider area of damage, as I say. So, you know, here I'm, I'm, I'm motor striking them by that shack um, because I know we're gonna, we're about to take A. So I'm just trying to um, have them move, uh, be able to help my teammates move forward to be able to plan. And uh, here, you know, this is a pretty good shot right there. And uh, I usually, I usually don't, I mean, uh, 
I usually use the um, the Magnum sniper rifle, the GOL. Uh, but I've been having some issues playing with it in terms of uh, you know uh, getting the range for you know, to get the kill for people. So I had to go. Um, I had to go back to the M24 because uh, when you zoom in, you got the uh, the ranges on the on the scope. So that's that's one thing that I was doing. So sometimes, you know, sometimes you get better, but then get worse, only to get better again. So I'm, in a way, going back to basics. Even though the N24 is an, an amazing sniper rifle, so. And, uh, you know, this, I think, you know, this match I went like 28 and 7, so. Uh, now we're coming to part 3 of the, part 3 of the base, or, of Pipe Horizo. Oh, uh, one of my team spot me so many, uh, these guys were hiding in the dumpster because we got killed by them. And the guy freaking motor strike the area. I gotta give him props for that, but kind of lame. And uh, uh, but part three right here is very very hard uh, in the sense that um, we're the ones that have to Contact go up the cliff. The As you'll notice here. Sorry. Um, this is a very hard. Yeah, I got the coordinates. Oh, this is a mistake by me. I should have stopped. Instead of wasting a good motor strike. Uh, but like I was saying, this is a very hard, uh, 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 or hard basis to capture or plant on um, because they're so close to the enemy spawn. And here's a, uh, oh another thing is uh, use your motion sensor balls. Uh, Every time I spawn, I always throw two of them. Uh, usually, one of my squad mates has uh, an ammo box throwing around. So what I'll do is I'll, I'll stand right next to it and I'll spam the heck out of, of the area with motion sensor balls because it helps the teammates. It picks it picks up the enemy team. It helps your teammates kill people. And All right, fellas, we got that explosive charge plan. Everyone, stand by. And uh, here, that area right there, hang on. That area right there, you have to be extremely careful when you're when you're up here because um, usually they will try and camp. And you know they planted at B. I got a mortar strike. Couldn't get the mortar strike up fast enough. You know, right now they're they're spawning right behind that or right behind B. And uh, we're trying to take it right now, so I'm trying to throw as many sensor balls to you know, locate the enemy. And I was able to take out those two guys right there. Uh, a good tip is if um, when you're if you snipe someone and they don't die, switch to your pistol right away. And uh, usually that extra shot will will take them down because obviously you know your pistol. Uh, fires a lot faster than your sniper rifle. Ooh, sorry. So just do that. And I think I'm just gonna cover up to when we take B. Because after this is only one more base. And. So. I got the motor strike going on B. I tell my squad mates. Um, I think they're dead. Oh no, they're not. I, I tell them that I got a mortar strike going, and to go ahead and, and plant that bee as, as, as quickly as possible. And uh, we just got B. So thanks for watching this uh, part two, and uh, I'll see you guys for part three. See you later.